the age-old debate, mouse and keyboard versus controller. Something that comes up quite a bit for a whole lot of games, and that does not exclude Naraka. If you've spent any time in the official Discord, or even signed up for a few of the events there, you've probably realized that the conclusion over there is pretty cut and dry, with mouse and keyboard being deemed the better hardware by far. In fact, if you've checked out any of the NXCT tournaments, you might have noticed that more often than not, you're allowed to participate on Xbox or PC Game Pass as long as you're using a controller. If it's suspected that you're using mouse and keyboard in an NXCT tournament, and you can't provide any recordings to show your on-screen button prompts, you may be kicked from the tournament. That certainly goes to show that using a mouse and keyboard is viewed as a pretty big advantage, even more so than the frame rate advantage. I'm going to go over some pros and cons of each, and the gap between them may not be as big as you might have thought. Before I get on with it, I'm just going to say that these are of course my own personal opinions, and something that I describe as an advantage or a disadvantage you may not see the same way. And if that's the case, then I'd love to hear it down below. The most obvious advantage that mouse and keyboard has is more precise aim. Naraka is a game that constantly has you and the opponents moving pretty erratically, and in my experience, it is much easier to place your shots with a mouse. While on controller, for some of the ranged weapons there is a literal lock-on mechanic that perfectly tracks the opponent, but that's just for the slower projectile speed weapons, so more often than not, it will have you just shooting about a foot behind anything you're actually trying to shoot. For a lot of games, this would immediately make mouse and keyboard the obvious choice, but for Naraka, as we all know, the ranged combat is far less important than the melee, so while it's still a significant pro, it doesn't mean that every controller player should try to switch for just that reason. And some people are still really good at aiming on the sticks anyways. On the flip side, the inherent advantage with controller is omnidirectional movement, since you're not limited to the 8 directions that WASD allows. You can emulate that sort of movement just by holding W and turning with your mouse, but it is nice to be able to do it separately from your camera. Oddly enough, one of my favorite things about playing on controller is something that I didn't even realize I was missing when I first tried mouse and keyboard. If you've only ever played MKB, do you notice right away what looks so different about what's happening on screen right now? Maybe switching back will make it more obvious. On controller, you have the ability to move entirely independently of your camera, even if you're attacking or charging. While on mouse and keyboard, if you're trying to track an opponent as you're running a different direction, the moment you begin to charge an attack, you will snap towards where your camera is pointing. As a controller player trying out mouse and keyboard, it feels like a disadvantage to have all of my attack inputs be bound to my camera. But I'd love to hear if any keyboard players also see this as a controller advantage when trying it out for themselves. For me, it certainly is when it comes to general movement, but to top it off, you actually have a choice. Attack from stick direction, or attack from camera direction. You might think that attacking in the direction of the movement stick wouldn't allow you to land certain combos that require you to hold left or right when hitting the ground, but stick direction does not override melee aim assist. So for a combo like this, where I'm holding to the right while hitting the ground, it doesn't affect my attack direction. The next advantage I see in controller is kind of hilariously small, but unlike the last one, you can't disagree based on personal preference. I know this is an absolute gimmick, but for whatever reason, while clicking with a mouse and trying to quickly purchase things in a shop, you're limited by a weird cooldown for how fast you can buy items. If I have 100,000 Dark Tide coins, and I'm planning on dumping it all on Lucky Soul Jades, it's going to take less than half the time on controller. Is it a real disadvantage for MKB? No, but it is a weird sort of inconvenience, and I can't think of why it exists. Back to a pro for mouse and keyboard, also being one that preference doesn't have a place in, except this time it's a lot more significant. In fact, this is the number one difference maker for high level play that pushes me towards MKB. On a keyboard, you can sheath your weapon. That's right, if you didn't know, you literally cannot sheath a weapon on controller. There is just flat out no bind for it. If you pick up a ranged weapon and don't have a melee weapon to swap to, instead of just putting it away and using your fists to fight off an enemy at the start of a game, you have to drop the weapon entirely. That's not a huge deal to me, but what is, is the fact that any tech that has to do with sheathing your weapon is just totally off limits. Along that same vein, the repair function shares a button with interact, and must be held down to access, so again, any tech such as moonwalking that involves tapping the repair button, you just can't do on controller. If you're a new player, or someone who just doesn't really care about being super competitive, then that high level tech probably isn't something you really care about, but it does bother me at least a little. This one goes back into preference land for sure, but for overall comfort and intuitiveness of the hardware, I definitely have to give it to controller. 
The default controls on mouse and keyboard feel very difficult to learn, so if you've managed to master them, congratulations. But if you're struggling, don't worry, I totally understand. Trying to find binds that I liked for my keyboard was much harder than I thought it was going to be, specifically the crouch and quick parry buttons. But honestly, anything that forced me to take a finger off of one of my movement keys felt unideal. Seasoned keyboard players are going to be used to this, but as a controller player, I'm used to having full access to my movement at all times. Turning on the camera for a minute to better explain this, within the first minute of trying out mouse and keyboard, having to use C for crouch was already having me wanting my controller back. Yes, you have access to a lot more buttons, but when you have three fingers dedicated to four different movement keys, having to leave those keys for so many things is difficult. Your skill, ultimate, crouch, grapple, interact, quick parry, inventory, heals, all of that you have to leave A or D for. If you've had a ton of practice with that, then of course it's probably not going to bother you too much, but for new players or anyone moving from controller, this is hard to get over. Some of this can be solved by binding things like crouch and parry to a mouse button, but you can't bind everything there, and in my case, I don't really like having super high usage binds on my mouse, since it causes me to be re-gripping a lot, or just holding the mouse in a way that's not super comfortable. Some people also like to bind crouch to the control key, so that's good too, but anything to get around having crouch on C is probably a good idea. I just can't deal with the hand position it takes to have my index finger constantly on crouch. On the controller side, it almost feels like you accomplish the same thing while doing less. Big disclaimer, everything I say in regard to controller, I'm assuming you're either using claw grip or you have paddles. I think if you're going to play on controller, it is absolutely worth getting used to holding it like this, rather than like this. Of course, what this allows you to do is access all of these four inputs, even this one, while maintaining full access to your aim and your movement. The warrior preset is great, the only thing I do is swap the switch weapons and lock on binds, since you really shouldn't be locking on anyways, so you want the more used action to be the more accessible one. Grapple and parry are immediately accessible up here with my left index finger, horizontal and vertical attacks over here, and with crouch bound to the left thumbstick, basic movement tech requires very little effort. The only thing that's a little awkward to reach is the map button, and then the heels, but those aren't really things you'll be using in rapid succession with other buttons. There are other comfortable binds to run a controller, but that was what always worked for me. In a way, I feel like using a controller just makes you take on a sort of different playstyle that some people might find a little weird to play against. Whether or not it's actually more difficult to play against, I don't know, but if you're not used to it, it likely throws you off at least a little. In the end though, use what you like more. If the pros and cons I pointed out aren't deal breakers to you either way, it will 100% come down to personal preference. And in my opinion, any gap between controller and mouse and keyboard can easily be overcome with some time and effort. What I've settled on personally is, well, neither. I've been using this thing, and I like it quite a lot. For me, it acts as a best of both worlds bit of hardware. I will probably make a full video on this if anyone happens to be curious about how it works for Naraka, but as far as today's video, that's about all I've got. I'll see you in the comments if you have any thoughts or questions, subscribe if you're new, and until next time.